geometric form, such as cylinders, spheres, and prisms, have relatively simple rules for drawing them. But it takes time to actually work with this and get the feel for them. And through getting the feel for these simple forms, you can start to combine them in more organic ways. So for me, that's one of the, the key ingredients in drawing the figure. We want to make it feel three-dimensional. We want our lines uh, and the way that we depict the form to feel like there's actual volume. Also, we want to apply the understanding that we gain about geometric form to the figure directly. So we use the figure as a way of understanding how these rules of geometric form can actually be seen showing up when we observe something as complex and subtle and organic as the human figure. This is going to be really helpful for simplifying, for seeing things in essentials, and also something that is very important to me is the capacity to draw from imagination. So we don't need to be slave to the ob observed reference or the life model, but instead we can actually make things up from our imagination, build the figure out from the anatomical knowledge plus the knowledge of geometric form and the way that the volumes can be crafted from very simple through to more complex. So there's many, many ways to approach drawing in general and the figure in particular. We can start with a very close sense of observation and measurement and looking for angles and proportions. We can also treat the figure more in terms of design elements, S-curves, C-curves, contrasted with straight lines. We can consider the figure as a flow of volumes. This is something that I really enjoy in drawing. It's something that we can really pick up in classical drawing. We can also emphasize bony landmarks and the way that soft tissues can be distorted as force is applied to them. So that somebody has pressure on their hand and we see the folds of skin on their wrist, uh, things like that. We can utilize a variety of techniques uh, for drawing and for rendering the drawing that prioritize different things, whether it be the form or the sense of light falling on form. We can ha utilize different ways of drawing the figure that are more appropriate to one speed or another. Perhaps we have a one minute drawing we're going to draw in a different way than if we've got a three-day drawing. 